What's going on YouTube? Giasno right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to stay secure and of course how to keep your jailbreak safe if you've jailbroken your device with the uncovered jailbreak on iOS 13.5 or lower. This video is brought to you by Wondershare and their software Dr. Phone Phone Manager. The software allows you to transfer your photos, videos, music, messages and so on from your iPhone to your computer and vice versa. Check it out in the link below. So in this video we're going to talk about keeping your jailbreak safe so that you don't lose it, you don't, you know, break it and stuff like that. But also we're going to talk about keeping your device safe from, you know, remote access and stuff like that. Because once you are jailbroken, your device is a little bit more exposed and a little bit more unsafe if you don't know what you're doing. So the first and most important thing to keep your device safe is to get the uncovered jailbreak from a trusty source. Now if you get it from those signing services that are not exactly trusted, then you might end up with a modified build. Now the uncover has a DRM protection, but it's still better to avoid anything that is not trusted. A jailbreak contains exploits and it will disable security features of your device. It's definitely not the kind of application you want from a shady source. The official website is the best you can get however, and that is the uncovered.dev. Now the second and most important tip is changing your password for root access. So in order to change the password for the root user you're going to have to do su in here and of course write the default password which is alpine a-l-p-i-n-e and you will be logged in as root. Now you're going to write password so p-a-s-s-w-d and this one will allow you to change the password for root. Insert a new password and of course you should definitely choose a strong one I'm going to say iPhone for now, but this is definitely not a safe password. And now if we close this and we try again to open it and write SU, we shouldn't be able to use Alpine anymore. And as you can see, incorrect password. This would basically prevent somebody from attacking your device by using the very well-known default Alpine password. Now the next tip to keep your jailbreak in your device safe is to have a very good understanding on what tweaks are compatible with your iOS version. And fortunately for you, there is a tool that actually allows you to check just that before installing anything and it's called tweak compatible this one in here is actually a very very good tweak and this one allows you to check if a tweak is compatible right before pressing install so with this in here installed we can go ahead here on a repo let's say I want to go here to the dynastic and let's say all packages and let's say I want to install better settings now if you look in here and you scroll down it says working here on the bottom it says in here that the iOS 13.4.1 is working with this and if you press here on working you can actually show the reviews and you can see exactly what the users say about this tweak working on this particular device on this particular iOS version and as you can see this one is successfully working on my version but let's go ahead in here and see clean tab you can see here that clean tab unfortunately is not compatible it says not working with my version so since this isn't working with my device had I not used this tweaking here to check I could have broken my jailbreak in my device by installing a malfunctioning tweak so tweak compatible prevents you from installing bad tweaks or tweaks that are not compatible that can actually destroy your jailbreak and render your device no longer working. So installing bad tweaks or tweaks that haven't been updated in a while can definitely produce pretty bad results and of course having this tweak in here to check is definitely a good idea because this way you know what you're going to install and you know if it's compatible with your device and your iOS version right before installing it. So let's go ahead here on a different repo like Chara is in here so all packages and as you can see CFA is actually working but Daisy is not. If I wanted to install Daisy of course I would be able to but it would work very badly on this device and it may even break something because it says in here that iOS 13.4.1 is not working with this particular tweak but you can also show the other versions that are confirmed working for example there is a version confirmed working with 13.2.3 but not 13.4.1 at the same time if you want to keep your jailbreak safe and ensure that you can fix potential problems you should definitely have a terminal like I mentioned before this one is actually good because if you have this you no longer need to SSH into the device using a computer to fix an error. You can use this one and fix the error on the spot. And of course at the same time you should definitely have Falza. Falza is actually pretty neat. It's a file manager. It allows you to go in any files in here, any folders and stuff like that. You can fix stuff and you can move stuff and you can edit your system files and stuff like that. It's definitely good especially when something breaks and you need to fix it. So these are a couple of tips to keep your jailbreak and your device safe. Definitely do them. It only takes a couple of minutes but you ensure that your jailbreak works pretty fine and your device remains safe with the uncovered jailbreak. Thank you for watching, I am Gio Snow, till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out.